you know what? You know what? You're right. This open range, common law said, state law said I could be out of my cows. You're right, BLM. Thanks for tasering people and punching them in the back and attacking women. Thank you so much. You're right. I'll just go crawl in a ditch and die. Thank you for destroying my way of life. You're right. Let's make way for Harry Reid and his son an energy deal. But because the Republicans are involved in big energy deals with the Chinese and others, they don't want all the federal land grabbing going on. A lot of these congressmen, Republican congressmen, have their son they want to head up the BLM. Or their son they want to head up an energy company with the Chinese. So they don't want this looked at. That's why they had Rachel Maddow and MSNBC and CNN with a bunch of neocon radio hosts, you all heard him this week, up there saying he's a freeloading piece of garbage and this is all welfare and he's a lazy bum and there's no Chinese energy company connection. It's all lies. That's because they're all in on it, folks. They're all in on gang raping you financially and they think it's funny. And if you don't wake up, you deserve it. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum 
potency, super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off super male vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. You know, I had a great private conversation with Ron Paul yesterday, a lengthy one, and uh, he's just doing a lot of great, exciting things. It was a private conversation, but down the road, I'm sure folks will hear. Uh, but uh, just so many interesting things going on. Liberty... Liberty is certainly on the march on a planetary level, but there's going to be pushback against that. You know, today we pay our tax money, the private run-for-profit Federal Reserve's collection agency, the IRS, that wasn't set up till 1913. And then on average, Americans didn't pay me, uh, income tax until World War II. They called it a war tax, and then in 51, they made it permanent. Just like we didn't have property taxes in this country the last hundred years, and it wasn't universal till about 30 years ago. You don't own your land, folks, if you pay a property tax. It's not really your land. You pay a rent. Clive Bundy and seven generations of his family since the 1870s have the surface foraging water rights. And for those that don't know, this is universal across Europe, England, and the U.S. It's common law, certified by state and federal law. That if you were the first in a territory or area and you use the water and the range, you have the claim on the land. Now, they've used ignorance to distract the public and say, Bundy's not paying his taxes, he's, he's lazy. If you're an illegal coming and having an anchor baby, or you're a corporation getting corporate welfare like Solyndra, that's fine. Or if you're Microsoft, you know, paying zero tax or whatever, that's okay. But if you're Clive Bundy... Producing beef for this country, you're a low-down, lazy, freeloading piece of garbage. According to Neocon Radio and MSNBC and, and CNN and, and Media Matters that the White House runs. And then they went further. We, last week, got the BLM documents from the Google cache. They'd taken them off the BLM site where they said Clyde Bundy is a recharge zone area set aside where we're going to use this area for the solar panels next door we got to use him for the power lines, and we've got to use him as a set-aside under international UNESCO rules where you can't use the property. That's how they do it. They have a, quote, carbon sink, as they call it. That's the global treaty. That if they're going to use this, well, your land can't be used. It's Nature Conservancy stuff, and we're showing the documents on screen right now. They've since pulled it off Google. They're so upset, and they've got Reed running around with people running a, a, a defense for him saying this doesn't exist. They're in a lot of trouble, folks. Now, we've got him to the bottom of the hour, maybe longer. I want to go to him now to cover the waterfront uh, and to discuss everything that's unfolding. But I wanted to play Harry Reid saying it's not over yet yesterday with the most disgusting you-know-what eating grin. The true grin of a psychopath, kleptocrat, I mean, it just says a trillion words. The smugness of thinking he's untouchable, that he's invincible, all the horrible things, the gun grabbing, the open borders, the attacks on families. Uh, this guy, and I'm, no, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not in the LDS, so I don't want to speak for folks, but the Mormons I know are all upstanding, really hardworking, good people at the front lines of fighting the New World Order. I want to know why Harry Reid's at the forefront of destroying this country and the world. I want to ask why he hasn't been thrown out of his church. Maybe that's not my business, but let me throw that at you, Clyde Bundy. Uh, what, what's your take on on this man? I wouldn't call him a Christian. I wouldn't call him anything but a but a scallywag. <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you one thing: the people of the state of Nevada elected him. Uh, they elected him to the United States Senate to take care of business on the. Like things like fighting foreign wars and doing the business with the other countries, uh, they didn't elect him to come back to Nevada and have anything to do with this public land. 
of the Clark County, Nevada. So this is not none of his business. He has no jurisdiction or authority. We didn't elect him to be here. We haven't asked him to be here. Harry, get your back where you're supposed to be and do what you're supposed to be doing. If you had Harry Reid in front of you right now, what would you say to him? Because he, he definitely watches and listens to this show. I would tell him the exact same same thing I just told you. I did t tell Harry right now. That's where he, we never elected him to come down here and bring his army and against we the people. We never did do that, and we're not going to accept that one more time ever. Well, you're definitely a ghost of our forefathers. That's exactly how they talked. And it's so alien now for a lot of city slickers to hear somebody saying, I won't back down. I want to play this clip of uh, Harry Reid. Is there anything you would like to say about what's going on down south with Clive Bundy and the BLM? Well, it's not over. Uh, you know, we can't have an American people that violate the law and just walk away from it. So it's not over. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, I think it's violating the law to taser people for no reason for free speech or to uh, body slam women from behind or set dogs on people or to point guns. Everybody's saying we will shoot if you cross the line. Sir, we have the audio. We've played the video. It's a viral video. You were there with David Knight, my reporter, and Josh Owens, the cameraman. Around a thousand people. So historical. Looked like Ceausescu's Romania when the people turned on him or the fall of the Berlin Wall or if Tiananmen Square would have gone better. Describe what it was like when you decided to say, hey, we're going in to get the cattle. We're going over their line. And uh, you know, just like Lexington saying, we're not going to fire the shot heard around the world, but if they fire, we'll fire all the rest. What was that like, Mr. Bundy? Well, you got to sort of realize or feel a setting, know the setting. Uh, we had the Clark County Sheriff, Doug Gillespie, standing right beside me, and he had uh, uh, made a statement and been negotiating with the enemy, the BLM, and come there to give we the people a statement, and the people didn't accept his statement. So the people give him a mandate to uh, disarm those people over in that compound, the BLM, those uh, militants that were uh, were armed over there and been tormenting us for several weeks, he said, go disarm, or the people said, Sheriff, go take their guns away. And we give the, uh, the sheriff one hour to do that. And he didn't do that. And we give him another 15 minutes, and they didn't do that. And we give him another uh, five minutes, and he didn't do that. And we had asked the media to bring this information back. Tell us what the sheriff is uh, doing, and what is the sheriff is the sheriff uh, uh, taking those arms back? And we asked that, that he bring take those arms back, which is about three miles away, well, about five miles away from where we were, and bring those arms and put them under the flags where we were st where we were all congregated. They didn't do that. They did not do that. The media did not give us a report. We had a you know a thousand people there and uh, it was fifty sixty horses up on the hill, and uh, I they and then they nothing was said about the cattle. This whole thing was not about cattle. Uh, it was about the people's rights and their liberty and their freedom, and they was mad about. The First Amendment rights only in these little pig. Pens. I understand the cattle were basically like taking the flag back, and and, yeah, and that's... the cattle, the cattle was hadn't been talked about all day, and then people started to say, "What about the cattle?" And uh, and and they was ready to go, and so I said, "Go get them." And when I said, "Go get them," it was those horses went running off the hills and the flags. And the people, you know, like, got in like 300 cars. It looked like a John up. Wayne movie meets V for Vendetta. I got to <laughs> say, I literally was in ecstasy because I was so worried about everybody getting shot and a war breaking out. And when the feds backed off, for now, I got really happy. And, and I, and I want to be friends with those feds. And I want them to become Americans again. And I think they did when they stood down. I, I think sanity prevailed. And I know they felt bad having to retreat, but Americans have been retreating in the face of the globalists for so long, we've been retreating. We're tired of getting pissed on.
Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life changes 